Hey all, this is Deb. It is time once again for our weekly challenge. So I've got a couple of things to show you today. Um, so I'm going to start with this eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. You know how I love my digis. And so this is a way to use a eight an eight and a half by 11 uh, digi page. You'll want to cut all the white edges off. My printer has white edges. I guess there are some that do not, um, but mine does. So I have to cut those off. And this that this little patchwork that you see was an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, uh, a digi. Uh, and all the papers that I'm going to show you today are by chapter one designs. Uh, no, sorry. Chapter one papers on Etsy. It's a beautiful, uh, it's a beautiful kit. French florals, I think is what it's called. Anyway, um, so this is an eight and a half by 11 uh, digital and this is how I have cut it to get two journal cards, a bookmark, and two tags. So the first thing that you're going to do is... Um, you're going to cut your paper at four inches and then you're going to cut it another four inches which would make eight inches this part that is left over is going to make the bookmark then you're going to take that those two four inch pieces and you're going to cut them again at six inches. So now you're going to have two tags, two journaling cards that are four by six, and your bookmark. Now, the journaling cards will be four by six. Your tags are going to be a little shorter because, of course, of the... Um, the edge that I trimmed off and the bookmark is also going to be smaller but it's a perfect bookmark size so so that's this you're going to cut your paper at four inches and then another four inches this is after you have cut the white off the edge four inches and another four inches. Then your two four inch pieces, you're gonna cut off at six inches. Two, two journaling cards, two tags, and a bookmark. So, let me show you what I did with that. So, these are bookmarks. Again, all these papers, except for these solid colors, are all uh, from Chapter 1 papers. And uh, even the, um, the little ephemera comes out of that kit. So this is a way to um, utilize your punches if you have them. So all four of these punches have been punched out of a uh, solid color and have been glued onto the top of the bookmarks. Now these I sewed around. Um, this one I did not. And then I added some frou-frou, some lace, uh, some of the, um, this, um, label is from the kit but I did stamp over the over it same thing for this I stamped over uh, the label this is um, 
a die cut. I have a die that cuts flowers. And so the the papers come with the, these little stamps. Okay, so there we have those. So those are the the uh, bookmarks. Uh, I didn't do any tags. So, but you guys can figure out how to do tags. Uh, this is a journaling card. Now, you'll see that I stitched around this. And you could just write over the top of it if you wanted or you could back it with you know a different kind of paper something that they could write on or that you could write on and then again a die a label so this one is um i'm utilizing the image the butterfly image that I stamped or that I cut out with a dot or with my um, punch so you can see the paper through that so it's like a little window and then this is on the top of it here's another one that's like a window I used my scalloped punch and uh, so it's like a window. It shows the paper through. Same thing for this. This is a scallop punch. The paper is showing through. And then this one, <clears throat> I used my punch and or my uh yeah my punch and i cut the scallop out and then i put a piece of paper on the back of it to show through so there's another idea to use your punches and i haven't put this on anything obviously yet so those are some um some of the ways that i've used the journal cards the bookmark and again I haven't done the tags yet I haven't made the tags yet but I was running late this week and getting the challenge done I knew what I wanted to do and I've been working on it but I've been having some other projects for the other group that I've been working on too so uh, just so many hours in the day and I got to sleep sometimes so um, so your challenge for this week and you are certainly welcome to utilize this idea or whatever it is that you would like um if there's something some project that you're working on with your uh with your journal or if there's a card that you need to make whatever the case may be your challenge for this week is to use people so these photos that I have here happen to be um, photos that are of my husband's ancestors. And so I utilized them in, the, in this particular project. If you've got your own photographs, there are digitals out there that you can purchase that have um, really nice images of people. Uh, Tim Holtz also sells paper dolls. Um, where did I put the paper dolls at? Oh, here they are. So Tim Holtz sells packages of paper dolls like this. You can get them at Joanne, Hobby Lobby. Um, and you can utilize something like that if that's what you prefer. Or your own photographs, like I did. 
So these are journaling cards. So they're two different sizes. This is a half sheet of eight and a half by 11. Uh, it's a, again, ch these are all chapter one papers, papers, <laughs> chapter one, pa they're all papers by chapter one papers. Um, so this is an eight and a half by 11, which um, has been cut in half. And then this one's a little smaller, maybe this thing, I think it's five by seven. Yeah, it is. It's a five by seven. So, um, I've again utilized the dies, uh, some now, um, these, this, um, whatever you call that and this doohickey, <laughs> that's a technical term. Um, neither one of them are from the kit. Uh, this is, and then here. I have put, I have utilized um, some dotted Swiss lace. This is um, cheesecloth. And I got this ring at, it's like a belt ring. Um, I got that at uh, Hobby Lobby. And then this one, I put a little piece of that dotted Swiss. Fru fru, and then this has the uh, in the background. It has the um, cheesecloth. I've got all different colors of cheesecloth that I got at or at uh, Hobby Lobby, and then I also got these. These are very interesting because they are four pronged whereas typically a brad is it's got you know like the two little legs that spread out this is this is actually for fabric i got it over in the notions at joanne and it's got four little prong things so you could even use that uh with fabric anyway this is also a smaller size um that i used for the this young man and I used, uh, this is music paper. In fact, no, there are no chapter one papers in this, on this guy with this, this little fella here. Uh, these two sisters have got a velvet ribbon, some of the florals and then this is um embossed i've got an embossing folder and so then i embossed the paper and then i took a a uh, ink and went over the top of it well at first i cut it out of a so i took a whole sheet of paper and um did the embossing and then i used my uh ellipse my oval uh, label or uh, punch to cut this out. And then these sisters, um, I took the, so this is the paper and I took that dotted Swiss, I guess it's lace. And I just put it over the top of it to kind of, soften the colors which I think turned out really nice and uh, then put them over the top of it and this little frou-frou thing here and then this little girl on her bike uh, again this is chapter one paper I like roughing up my edges. I roughed all the edges up and most of them I, as you can tell easier by this one, I used uh, Distress Ink 
and ink the edges. This one I didn't want it to be inked, but I heavily distressed the edges so that it's all bendy and foldy because I like that look. I think it looks really neat. And then uh, I added some eyelet um, trim lace on the bottom. And then, you know, since she's on the road, she's going someplace, I put a postcard on there. <laughs> so, or it's, this is part of the digitals. So, and I've got a little piece of the cheesecloth and the dotted Swiss on there to add some, some interest. So that is your challenge for this week. If you want to utilize this idea to, to, to do it, that would be great. But your challenge for this week is to make something and include people. So, um, if you have any questions, please let me know if you have any comments. Um, if you have not taken a look at our Facebook group, the art of journal making and paper crafting on Facebook, I invite you to come over and take a look at that and see if that might be something that you're interested in. Uh, we are, um, we're all a bunch of newbies. So, uh, we're learning just like everybody else and, uh, we're hoping to, you know, have some swaps and do different things like that. So, but we're just getting started in our group and we invite you to come over and, and, uh, take a look at it. If that might be something that you're interested in. So anyway, that's the project for this week and I hope you have a great week and, uh, we're supposed to have nice weather this week in the 70s. Last week, I thought we were going to have to hire Noah because, wow, we had lots of rain. Our uh, middle granddaughter, she turned 16 on Monday, and so she was able to drive alone <laughs> to school this week, and it has poured rain We've had flooding, which is not unusual. We have a lot of flooding here. Um, so she drove in flood. She drove in wind. She drove in fog. And yesterday, or uh, Friday, it snowed. I mean, not a lot. I'm surprised that they had school because one flake of snow and, you know, they closed. But, uh, you know. They didn't, and off she went to school, and so you know that the roads were slick, but so this has been a very difficult week for my daughter. <laughs> so for all of us, we've all been on the in edge of our seats, but you know, she's a great driver, and you know, you just got to cover her in prayer. So anyway, that's... Uh, that's all there is for now, and uh, I hope you enjoy your week, and I'll talk to you later. This is Deb signing off. Bye.